Because there's nothing you can do for the little puppy that's falling down, down, down into the dark abyss that will never, ever give you back. At least you only thought it. I only thought I thought. It turns out I said it. The person I'm playing is Steve. He's a car salesman. He's a very good car salesman, but he suffered a great loss in his life, and now he's dealing with trying to get past it. Yeah. In a funny way. The biggest challenge is, is that um, he's not over it yet, and everything he sees around him reminds him of his loss. And so, but I think he's getting to a point where he, he he knows he has to move on, and so he does. Be the tragic relief in a comedy. <laughs> well. What happens? To, what has happened to him is tragic, but his way of dealing with it is comic. You know, in comedy, there's a there are things that define comedy. One is a sense of superiority the audience has over a character. Another one is a deep, deep identification with that person. They can say, "Oh my God, that's just like me," you know. And so there's that in it, and then it just it's. Um, He's only bogged down by human foibles, humanity, and then he's very human, and I think that's what people will, I'm hoping, they'll, they'll see and identify with and uh, support. It's challenging. I didn't think it would be as challenging, but that's always the case once you get into rehearsals, and when you see what other people are bringing to their characters, when you start making that world, then you realize, oh, okay and you, you have to shift and, and move and be part of that world. Because when you're by yourself, basically you're looking at your part of the story. And the story doesn't really come into your mind as fully as it does when you get into rehearsal. That's why you should never learn your lines before you start rehearsal.